Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scare Soldier back with another Borderlands 3 video and in today's video we are going to be looking at the One Pump Chump. This weapon is absolutely a beast and a lot of people kind of forgot about it because it's a little bit of an older shotgun. I mean with all the new weapons, DLC 3, DLC 2, all these things, we kind of forgot about some of these gems and I want to show you guys what this gun's all about at level 60 because definitely this is something you're going to want to have in your inventory when you're using flak. Now, of course, there's one clip to this weapon for those who are new so one shot but this gun does have a 50 percent chance to not consume ammo when fired and also will leave no trace it helps you guys out a little bit as well so you can kind of shoot this gun more than once without reloading and if you do have to reload the reload time don't worry is only one second so it's really really fast now where you want to farm this gun is over at Lector city so i'm going to show you guys exactly where you want to go so you're going to spawn right over here um, and then you're going to want to basically go all the way through the middle of the map pretty simple and you're going to want to end up here it's kind of underground but you're going to want to be right here so i'll just kind of give you guys a little viewpoint of it but that's pretty much where you want to be right over there all right so now that we're there there's also a code you're going to have to put in and that code is simply you're going to have to press this one once then you have to press this one this lever over here and then finally you have to press this over here twice and now you see we have one punch. He's going to be dropping the weapon for us. So after we get our one pump chump, we're going to be showing you guys how beastly this weapon is. So we're going to be at the Malinwan takedown. Now specifically, I do recommend using this gun pretty much for just normal enemies in the game. So for mobbing, this gun is absolutely a beast. It can one shot enemies. You guys see right here, that's exactly what we're doing. The capabilities are great for just mobs in general. Now for bossing, I wouldn't rank this gun super, super high. There's of course better choices in the game for bossing like back burners and other type of weapons. But this weapon overall is great for dealing with mobs, as I said. So what you wanna do to maximize the potential of this weapon is you wanna actually group up multiple enemies together and freeze them with your frozen heart shield and you're going to want to pick an enemy any enemy out of that group and you're going to want to shoot them in their critical spot once you do that it's going to actually kill the rest of those enemies instantly which is very very nice to help you mob so you don't just have to kill an individual target at a time which helps you guys save a little time to get through the mobs a lot quicker um, and that's exactly what i'm going to show you guys in a second with a couple of examples on athenas so we're going to go over there so we got a couple mobs over here so we have that one guy in the middle and we popped one and we got three for one so really really nice got a couple more mobs over here but overall this gun is just absolutely crazy i think I've hit every enemy with one shot only, and we pretty much wiped them out really, really nice. We have a clip coming up here, and you guys are going to see the amount of damage. Look at this. 865 million damage. Insane stuff, guys, the potential of this weapon. So that's pretty much it, guys. We're going to go over head and kill Tront real fast, and then that will be it for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. It's your boy, Scare Soldier, signing out. Peace. You there. How are your last breaths going?